say it loud. You all respond, I'm harsh and proud. Okay? Say it loud. I'm harsh and proud. I can hear you. I'm say it loud. And proud. One more time. Say it loud. I'm harsh and proud. That's right. That's the spirit. Never say die. Thank you very much. Say it loud. I'm harsh and proud. I can hear you. Say it loud. One more time. Thank you very much. It's a great honor indeed to have all of you here. We have become a family. We become friends for life, haven't we? Thank you very much. We are here because you guys have done us proud. And on behalf of the board, I want to acknowledge our players who have demonstrated all that is required for success in one's profession. You've demonstrated a willingness to work very hard willingness to work as a team, because we are a team sport, I've always said. And you've also shown a lot of discipline. That is why we are here today, and we are very, very honored to host you to this evening's uh, dinner. Also very important in what we've achieved is our technical team, headed by our one and only Kofi Yesu. When we, when we introduce him to the public sometime in uh, February, they ask me what targets we had set for him. And my response was simple. This man needs no targets because he's a man filled with ambition. Yes. And that ambition is consistent with what we as a board also share. So it's like a congruence of desires. And so we needed to give him no targets because we knew he would want to win every match. He is backed by a great technical team. He is backed by a great technical team Who, whose togetherness, whose togetherness we have never seen in House of Hope. So my gratitude, and I express it on behalf of the board, goes to Coach Buedu and his technical team. Yes. I've always enjoyed the Hamza dance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, thank you. Thank, thank you very much, thank you very much. You know, it shows that we are a family. We are together, and that is what I take a lot of pride in. Let me acknowledge the work that uh, Coach Odom did. Hey. 
and let me also acknowledge the work that Coach Ninoy did. So we are grateful to our technical team. Happy about the work Coach Odom did. Happy about the work that uh, Coach Ninoe did. Of course, very happy about the support that we have received from the board. The board has been uh, quite phenomenal in supporting everything that we've tried to do and backed by the management. That is why we are not double champions, but what? Can I hear you again? One more time. Treble champion. Say it loud. Say it loud. Say it loud. Thank you. We are house and we are proud. Thank you very much. When we set out as a board, when we set out as a board, we define as our mission When we set us as, as a board, we define as our mission. The creation of a winning machine. Hmm? A winning machine. A team that just keeps winning and winning. And one that attains preeminence in African football. That was the mission. Thank you very much. And we knew that to achieve our mission, our, our, our vision, sorry, we needed to define certain things that we had to do. We knew that among others, we had to put in place a good management team. We've been working on it. We need to put in place a good technical team, and we have seen it materialize. We needed a solid group of young, ambitious players. Remember, I've mentioned and emphasized ambition. Players who desire to attain the ultimate in their professions. And that we have been able to assemble. So we wanted a solid management team, a solid technical team, and a solid group of young players. That was the mission. Remember, the vision was a winning machine that attains preeminence. And the mission put together solid management team, solid technical team, and a solid group of young, ambitious players. <laughs> but we also knew that for that group to work well, they have to be united. We needed to be committed to one objective. We needed to have goal congruence. We all needed to share in the winning mentality. And that is why we have sought to ensure that between us, there are no gaps. We are together. That has been the objective, okay? We also needed that we knew that we needed solid infrastructure to back whatever we, 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 we want to achieve, and of course, I will say a little about what we are doing at Pobiman shortly. Those were the objectives. We've worked on this over the years, and I want to cut it very short. Over the past uh, year since we came on board, this, I think, is our eighth, eighth season. Okay? People will say 11, 12, whatever. But we all know that there have not been any leagues over the past three years, okay? So we have won this uh, current season, and we did it in style, winning. Double. No? Treble. 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 Yeah. Th thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So um, we, have, we have defined our, our, our vision, we have defined our mission, and we've been pursuing it over the years. We have faced a lot of opposition, a lot of difficulty, which is most unfortunate. 
sometimes from people who would wish they were in leadership, which is unnecessary because we all are committed to the same objective. But we have, you know, uh, moved on until uh, things came to a head in February when Coach Papich resigned suddenly. It turned out to be a blessing in disguise. When Coach Papich resigned, we, he did so in front of the entire board. We tried to persuade him to stay on. He said he couldn't because the playing body was divided against him. We said, no, stay. We'll try to help you to mend the cracks. He insisted he had to leave. Tried as we did, Coach Papi decided to leave. Sadly, some people took advantage of it and tried to give the impression that we, the board, have made it difficult for Coach Papich to do his work, which was why he left. So we saw the West revolt against this board that we've witnessed since we came. But thank God we survived, thanks to your hard work. We brought in Coach Ninoy, young as uh, he is, with your support, he held a fort, and then our resurgence began. The board put 